and there's one more video. Whoa, this has 1.9 million views. Holy crap. All right, let's. Um, there's one more video that I need to check out. Um, Zenlo Zone Zero has dropped another character demo, which is um Lycan. So let's check this one out before I wrap this up. We have obtained the item you requested. Seems this area requires further cleaning. This guy leaves screams that he's a butler. The music is nice though. He's literally attacking using his legs. Ah. Oh. Alright, oh, the mate with the chainsaw weapon. From my understanding, right, the Lycan Avis is, is from a different faction uh, than the Nicole's faction, from my understanding. Hold on a second. What the some of the boost set reminds me of that one character from My Hero Academia? The glasses guy. I forgot his name though, but you guys know who I'm talking about. This is the one! What a unique design! The guy's reaction though. Is having an orgasm. We look forward to serving you again. Oh, Victoria Housekeeping. Yeah, I was right. Um, they were they're literally in another another faction than uh, Nico's. I'm pretty sure Nico is in her own faction. Well, okay. Anyway, I believe um, Lycan is in another faction in a, in a, a different faction, which is uh, her Victorian Housekeeping. And it goes in, in, in another, another faction. So very, very interesting character demo to see the list. And as a matter of fact, right, I'm, I would definitely will be checking out Zenless Zone Zero. From what I understand, right, Zenless Zone Zero has already announced a release date, which is on July fourth. So I will definitely will be checking out that game um, on July fourth without a shadow of a doubt. But whether I'll be continuing playing or not. Only time with them. Whether I'll be, I'll be playing it for um, as long as, as I can, like maybe like what, I, what I'm doing with Genshin right now, because I, even though I am in casual mode in Genshin, or will it be like a Tower of Fantasy situation where after one month of playing this game, I am I'm maybe done with it because there were a few reasons I was like I was legit done with Tower of Fantasy, and I just really don't give zero about that game anymore so hopefully this game will blow my mind hopefully this game will blow my mind i mean as a matter of fact right there's really two fighting game big names really try out this game and one of them was playing it on stream while another one has really uploaded his um his impression on the game on youtube so that kind of really makes me want to check out the game more without a shadow of doubt so once um, the game drops on July 4th, I will definitely check out the game for sure. But whether I'll play, how long will I be playing it in the long run? Only time will tell.